You have entered the Chronics rabbit hole. And Roger, Mara, and Thiago, thank you so much for your donation request. You are bringing something new down the rabbit hole. The band is called Rhapsody, and the song is called Prometheus. Thank you so much, Roger, Mara, and Thiago. I'm really looking forward to this new song coming down the rabbit hole. Thank you so much for bringing this new band down the rabbit hole. This is Luca Turilli's Rhapsody. The song is Prometheus, and I'm really looking forward to this. As you've let us know that this is a symphonic power metal. They are the pioneers of symphonic power metal. They've been around since 1993. If you guys love this band and want to let us know what your favorite song is, let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a new song coming down the rabbit hole. It's crazy how you can miss a band that's been uh, around the whole time we've been alive. This band's literally as old as I am, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we're very much looking forward to this. This is live at Masters of Rock. Excited to see some live music as for concert junkies now. All right. Thank you, people. This is a title track with a new album. This one is called Prometheus! Some prophecy the rest is you be now a prophecy and a chance to say my This is so progressive, so heavy on the symphonic side. I keep wanting a headbang, but there's so many little gaps of like rhythm yeah. that's happening here. So I don't know how to to bang my head right now. And it's it's more melodic and uh, heavy on the melody here for like how they're even singing too. And I thought it was maybe gonna have more like ah to it. So this is quite a unique experience. It's very unique. And coming right into it when. Um, they, they started cause they started pretty heavy right off the bat. And then, uh, when I saw the female vocalist come in, I was like, okay, like what to expect because I've seen so many symphonic female vocalists and how they all kind of have a different way, yeah. but she is very much holding the choir. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. And there, and I was trying to see if everyone in the band was singing or if it was like a choir backtracking and it sounds like a male choir backtracking, um, or at least very deep choir okay. and then with her just amazing amazing operatic voice yeah. is just pulling it all together right. and like so even though like i he's more the primary singer she's just like the glue that's holding the symphonic she's standing out for you she's standing right? out quite a lot yeah. for me um everyone in here is phenomenal and i love how happy the drummer looks as he's drumming no kidding right he just looks so happy and then, like, even at the very beginning, the keyboardist, I saw his face, and he just had a big, like, grin. And just... that's what power metal gives. It's, there's it's so, so much so joy happy. to power metal on top of this symphonicness on it. Mm. It's, like, it's just so joyful, exactly. It right? is. And so, like, even singing about Prometheus, which 
it, it there's he been brought many the fire to humans yeah he brought the fire to humans so yeah. there is like some a joy to that but yeah. there's also some terror to it as well it's a double-edged sword so isn't it's it? that double-edged sword so i'm just i'm loving this experience yeah of what they're putting together as a symphonic power metal band i agree here we go keep the smiles going Introduction to Rhapsody. So these two genres really do blend very well together. I'm starting to really like power metal a lot more. It almost gives me a little pirate vibes of like everyone singing together and this joyous occasion as we're going across the seas. Um, I love that you're bringing up how happy they were because then I started really trying to focus on them more. And then when I went to the keyboardist, I actually saw he was wearing a Mega Man um, shirt. So, like, that's an old Nintendo video game character. So, it's just showing, like, their sides of, like, they enjoy life. They got their, their like, their loves on their shirt, right? And then um, just how well they all sound together singing, though. Mm -hmm. It was so catchy. I wanted to sing right away with it. And um, I really love that really soulful solo that that guy had. But then oh, it switched man. to, like, I almost thought there was a keyboard crazy feel going. But then it was a guitar ripping that part at the end. I was like, oh, my God. Like, that is yeah. that is so impressive. And I, I just never thought I liked power metal so much. And there you go. They are the pioneers for blending these two together. With this being my, with this channel being kind of my first introduction, really, to metal other than you know listening to some new metal when i was a teenager yeah. or a little bit of corn here and there 
Um, I never really realized how many different variations of metal yeah. there are. Yeah, no kidding, So right? hearing this as like a power metal symphon symphonic power metal, yeah. um, it's really giving me a new understanding of what all is capable. Because you're right, when the guitar came in, it almost sounded like a keyboard fill, but it was like such an amazing guitar solo. Oh man, right? That it's like... It's almost like the instruments are going above and beyond what we believe they are capable of. Yeah. And these artists are just slaying in ways I didn't even know was possible. Um, the, the the female singer, the female vocalist yeah. is phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely phenomenal. We need to find out the names for all the band members here. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, th this band is insanely amazing very mm -hmm. talented i love how happy they are on stage um the male vocalist is also absolutely just insane in his vocals and the agree. two of them together have such a melody that just it, it's very appeasing and i and just such a beautiful song and i would love to hear more of what this band has to offer it kind of gave me visions of atlantis vibes yeah it did where like the two amazing singers as well there one female one male and then the choir behind them that backtracking mm -hmm. it just added so much seeing them perform that live too to see like yeah. how full their sound is it would be an incredible experience to see them perform it almost looked like they, they had two guitarists and one bassist so like they're pushing the limits that way yeah. too i almost thought there was a fourth in the back there but it was just a camera guy i was like man are they like they got four going there and then i was like no 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 but oh, like, that's a camera guy <laughs> so like but it was such a joyful time and then getting to look at everyone's face that was the most memorable thing for me Absolutely. it's just how much joy they were having performing this and this is back in 2016 too so i'm sure they got a lot of new stuff a lot of great things to look forward to so we would definitely love to see rap city come back down the rabbit hole so thank you rajay mora and thiago for bringing this with your donation request if you guys had a good time with us though hit that like button comment if you want to see more and subscribe if you are new to the channel because we are exiting the rabbit hole now folks thank you so much for your request everyone peace and love god bless you take care and bye for now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me a Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support.